Hello, Propane Industry members. My name is Brian Richardson. I'm the editor of LP Gas Magazine. I want to take a few minutes of your time today to talk a little bit about a topic, the story we wrote in our February issue about water heaters and new energy efficiency regulations taking effect this April. In preparing the article, we talked to several water heater manufacturers about the changes and also propane industry consultants who offered their insights on how these changes affect retail propane companies. The new Department of Energy regulations take effect on April 16th and they impact virtually all residential water heaters and some commercial light duty water heaters. The water heater industry has been preparing for these changes for some time. In fact, the manufacturers have been changing the design of their equipment over the last five years to meet the April regulations. Water heaters are becoming more efficient and they will use less overall energy, but they're also becoming larger with more insulation, especially on water heaters with 20 to 55 gallon tanks. Gas fired and electric storage water heaters with a volume greater than 55 gallons will require new technology. This technology will also add to the water heater size and in some cases might not be suited for all installation and geographic application locations, according to one manufacturer. What's important for retailers to know is these changes are happening at the manufacturer level. And due to the design changes of the water heaters, there could be an opportunity to push propane as the preferred fuel choice among your customers when it comes time for them to replace the appliance. Another point to keep in mind, the water heater manufacturers say that these changes could lead to an increase in tankless water heater sales. This could be the answer for potentially higher tank water heater costs, physical size increases, and limitations on larger units. About 465,000 gas-fired tankless water heaters were sold in the United States last year. Finally, I'll leave you with this. Tom Janicki, an industry consultant from Atomic Creative Solutions, believes propane marketers should take one of three approaches on propane water heaters. Number one, and at a minimum, promote their usage. Number two, partner with a trade ally to grow their usage and installation. And three, go all out and actively sell, install, and service them. There's a lot of room for growth, Jenicky says, because the propane industry only has about one-third of its propane customers on propane water heaters. If you'd like more information about these changes, you can visit the Department of Energy website at energy.gov. I also found good online Q&As from water heater manufacturers Renai and Bradford White. You can also contact your water heater representative or distributor. If you're going to be in Atlanta for the Southeastern Convention, you might want to consider attending an educational session on this topic. It's at 9 a.m. Sunday morning at the Georgia World Congress Center. Jamie Lyons of Newport Partners and Bridget Kidd of the Propane Education and Research Council will lead the discussion. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at brichison at northcoastmedia.net. Thank you.